Um, I, as a matter of principle, I value individuals. Um, so I'm, I'm good with identity. Um, I, I loathe tribalism. Um, and when I look at race in particular, race, a phony concept that is dreamed up to divide us. Um, and I find people embracing it and holding it close to them like a sacred shroud. Um, it, it makes me really upset. Um, it is not who we are. You are not your appearance. It is ridiculous. Um, and people who happen to look like me, like we don't have like any common bond as a consequence of just kind of sort of looking like each other. And they prove it every day um, when I am routinely subjected to really nasty and disgusting criticism from people on the basis of not just my appearance, but my appearance and my incongruent uh, perspectives on any number of issues, at least as so far as they see it. It's the reason why when I've had conversations with Black Lives Matter activists, I have walked away from them um, under a cloud of really nasty expletives and um, racial epithets and even had someone threaten to assault me physically. If I didn't have things to lose, um, I might have actually uh, taken, taken some action, but I've got things to lose. So, uh, so no, it's a, it's a real pursuit. And look, Zora Neale Hurston is, um, is my lodestar so, for, so far as this perspective is concerned. I've extracted some of it from her, and it's the notion that I don't believe that we ought to have pride in things that are unearned, like race and sexuality. I don't think you should be ashamed but having pride in it seems odd to me. I think we have pride in the things that we accomplish and the things that we do. Happenstance occurrences, I don't want you to be ashamed of the fact that you happen to be black or the fact that you happen to be gay or any of those other things. Um, but it seems odd for it to be about professions of pride and then for us to be so sensitive on the other side, which, which makes it seem like, well, that's, it's weird that you've got so much pride, but you're also super sensitive um, that you lash out at the universe um, anytime anyone says anything that seems like it might possibly sound like it could be racist um, or, or homophobic or, uh, or something else. I mean, those, those people are weak. They, they have eggs as their Twitter avatars. They can't hurt us. We won. We won. Everyone who hates racism won. Um, I wish that we would come to terms with that victory and accept it. We didn't get to march with Martin Luther King on the, on the mall. That is unfortunate for us. Instead, we get to inherit the world that he helped win us, one where racism, as a function of power in any meaningful sense, has been defeated. It's not that it doesn't exist, it's that it is powerless to stop us. Like Those ideas are deplorable and abhorrent, and everyone knows it. And the people who don't are losers, literally losers.